What was the spark that inspired you to make this film? Oh, it's, it's, it's you know, 150 years in the making this film, things that we should be thinking about. For me, it was a two-year-long process, but it really came out of a, a lifelong immersion in, 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 in immersive interest in the criminal justice system, partly because it's all that was around me growing up in Compton, um, a very heavy, heavy police presence. Um, it was just always something that was a part of the, the atmosphere of where I lived in the black community, and so um, it's been with me for a long time. Now, how do you see documentary film as an important tool by which to get these topics explored and get the word out? Well, you know, it's storytelling, and I think one of the most powerful ways to change minds and hearts and spirits is through stories. And so the documentary form, we're really in a renaissance of documentary filmmaking right now, not, not because of a... a, a a documentary um, form. Doc documentary form is in a, in a golden era right now, and it's just a thrilling to be a part of it. Um, I think it's the most, one of the most powerful ways to tell stories, um, and so it's an honor to be able to use the form and tell this particular story. So what, why do you think it's important for film festivals like this to promote documentary film, give it a platform for people to see it and see it in different ways? Well, it was a really bold move for the New York Film Festival to um, give the opening slot to a documentary. It's the first time it's been done in 54 years. I don't think it's for any reason other than I don't know. Uh, I think we're in a new era, a new age of documentary filmmaking where the public is really embracing it as wholeheartedly as they do narrative. And, um, and so it feels like the right time to celebrate it as an opening night, and I'm happy it could be us. Well, thank you. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Appreciate it. What, what is your background in the film? I know you created an original song for the film. Um, so what's your relationship with Ava? Well, I've been a part of her films, um, Selma, and now I'm getting to participate in this film. Um, as, a, as a musician, we created a song for the, for the end title. Um, and I've been an actor and a friend of Ava for, for a while now. I mean, an actor in her film and now a friend. As someone who's coming from, from music, why is it important for these kinds of topics to be explored through your own art or Ava's films? I think it's so important because the art has some of the most impact on culture ever. When people, when people find, want to find out truth and things that affect them in certain ways, film, television, music, the arts, it, it affects us and it brings us together too. And it, all, and it brings up the conversation in, in, in ways where you're digesting it, but it's like, it's art, so you, you appreciate it too. So it's important. Oh, thank you. Thank Have you. a nice thank day. I want to ask, how, how did Ava approach you to be on this project? You know, I've worked with Ava um, on other projects in the past when we uh, worked with her film, Middle of Nowhere, to prevent, film, uh, to prevent um, phone companies from exploiting inmates in prisons uh, with high, high phone prices. So we've worked together before to tackle issues of mass incarceration, so it was very exciting to get in, get in on this project. This documentary covers it covers a lot of grounds. There are lots of topics explored in this film. What do you think um, is specific to the medium of documentary film and getting these ideas expressed? Documentary film is one of the only places where we can tackle the criminalization of black bodies in long form, right? So right now we have to deal with Fox News. We have to deal with the mainstream, um, the mainstream press's approach to episodic coverage of police killings of black people, but through documentary, we're able to really bring humanity back in a world that's been criminalizing black bodies for, for decades, centuries. So why is this film being selected for opening night of the New York Film Festival so important? I mean, we are in a moment that unlike any other, I mean, right now we have presidential debates that hinge on whether or not they can tackle and, and address this issue of anti-black bias and police violence. We have a moment when the, even the right wing is talking about decarceration, but the future of that might be electronic monitoring. This is an incredibly important political moment. So to have a film open the, the New York Film Festival that is tackling those issues is just incredible. Well, thank you for speaking thank with us. So have a nice night. Welcome to the opening night of the New York Film Festival. Um, so I want to know, how did, how did Ava approach you to start on this project? Um, she sent an email to me. She had read some of my work online and were interested in some of the same issues, some of the same things. And I'd been arguing a few things sort of very passionately in some of my writing. And we just sort of made a connection from there. And next thing you know, I'm going to interview with her for the film. So fairly spontaneously, I would guess. So you say you've written about this. And this, this 
documentary covers a whole lot of ground, a lot of different subject matters. What what audience do you hope to sees this film? Uh, who do you who do you hope this this changes the Whose perspective do you hope to change? I, I hope the broadest possible audience sees it, to tell you the truth. You know, I'm a teacher, so I certainly hope that every student gets a chance to watch it and think about the future that's being shaped, uh, think about the future that they have the power to shape. But I really do think this is such an important conversation that we haven't reckoned with in an honest way for so long that I'm hoping this film will really focus and intensify the way that we look at our past and how that shaped us today. So I hope the broadest, broadest possible people see it. So how do you feel about the, the power of film as a, as a tool for getting these kinds of work ideas out? Well, as someone who works primarily in text, you know, it's, film is such a powerful, a powerful medium that with images, you know, words from the people themselves, the way that they can be arranged for both visual and auditory impact, just, you know, the literal cliche, right, you know, bringing things to life. But I think that the film is an ideal medium for a topic such as this uh, because you need to see, you need to hear, you need to be immersed in the issue, and it needs to have that sort of that visceral impact, I think. Uh, and I think film is ideally suited for that. Well, thank you for speaking with us. Thanks. Hi.